You might be surprised by what I'm about to share, but it's crucial to stay silent and focused about what's coming your way. You're watching another video exclusively for the chosen ones. If you are not a believer of Christ, it is likely that you will not watch this video to the end. Feel free to turn it off, as the message may not resonate or vibrate with your soul or spirit. However, if you are a true chosen one, you will fully understand everything I'm about to explain. Imagine standing on a mountain with everything you hold dear in your hands and hearing God say, Do you trust me enough to lay it down? Perhaps you've sensed it, a calling so fierce it shakes your soul, so relentless it refuses to be ignored, yet so gentle it draws you closer. Have you ever found yourself at the edge of surrender where faith defies logic and sacrifice becomes the truest worship? Chosen one, this message is for you. This is the faith that moves mountains, the trust that defies fear, the sacrifice that becomes the purest offering. Today, you are called higher, into a place where God's provision is waiting, where His power is unleashed, where His purpose is revealed. Step into the fire, let it refine you, and watch as the God who calls you ignites a blaze that cannot be extinguished. I come to speak to those who know they are set apart, to the chosen, the ones whose hearts are tuned to hear the voice of God in the silence, who feel His touch even in the most ordinary of moments. This message is for you who are marked by the hand of God, called to walk a different path, to live by a different standard, to carry a fire that the world cannot understand. Chosen one, there is something extraordinary within you, but perhaps you have felt the weight of your calling. You have felt moments of struggle, doubt, and even isolation. You have carried promises that seem delayed, hopes that seem deferred, and dreams that seem far off. Today I want to speak into the core of your being, I want to set your heart ablaze with the ancient story of faith, a story that defies understanding, yet carries the power to transform. It's the story of Abraham, a story of obedience, trust, surrender, and the God who provides. Prepare yourself to hear not just words, but the very heartbeat of God. Let this message find the hidden places in your soul. Let it ignite a fire that cannot be quenched. Are you ready to go deeper? Are you ready to burn with purpose? Welcome to a word of wisdom. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like the video, and turn on notifications to keep up to date with the word of God. The journey of faith is not for the faint-hearted. It is a journey marked by tests, by moments when the call of God requires everything, Moments when obedience feels like stepping off a cliff with no visible ground below. Abraham's story begins here, with a test of unimaginable proportions. God called Abraham to take his beloved son Isaac, the very promise of his future, the joy of his old age, and offer him as a sacrifice. Imagine the weight of this request. Isaac was not just a son, he was a miracle. He was the fulfillment of a promise that had taken decades to come to pass. And yet, God asked for him back. Chosen one, there will be times in your life when your faith will be tested. It may be a call to step away from something you love, to let go of what you cherish, or to walk into the unknown. Faith is not tested in comfort. It is tested in the fire of obedience. It is in these moments that God asks, Will you trust me above all else? Will you follow my voice even when the path is unclear? Abraham didn't hesitate. He rose early, prepared the journey, and brought Isaac with him, trusting in God's wisdom even when it didn't make sense. Radical obedience is not a passive faith. It's an active, unshakable trust that God's ways are higher than ours. It's the understanding that we walk by faith not by sight. Abraham climbed the mountain without knowing how God would make a way. He only knew that God was faithful. Are you willing to trust God even when the answers are not visible? Radical obedience doesn't mean having all the answers. 
It means having a heart surrendered to the one who holds them. In every act of obedience, God is drawing you closer to his heart. Radical obedience is a faith that says, even if I lose what I hold dear, I know God is with me. This is the obedience that Abraham modeled, a faith that stands firm, a trust that does not waver. Abraham's willingness to offer Isaac teaches us a profound lesson about trust and surrender. Isaac was everything to Abraham. He was the laughter after years of longing, the miracle born in a season when hope seemed impossible. And yet, Abraham was willing to lay Isaac on the altar, not because he wanted to lose him, but because he trusted that God would fulfill his promises. Chosen one, what do you hold most dear? What dreams, relationships or plans are so close to your heart that the thought of surrendering them feels impossible? Trusting God with what we love most is one of the hardest tests of faith. It's easy to give God what we don't need, but true surrender is about giving Him what we hold closest. God doesn't ask for surrender to take away. He asks for surrender to refine and to bless. When we surrender what we cherish, we invite God to move in ways that are beyond our understanding. Just as Abraham placed Isaac on the altar, we too are called to place our dreams, our hopes, our very lives in God's hands, trusting that his plan is higher, that his ways are greater. In surrender, we find freedom. In giving up control, we find peace. In letting go, we discover the fullness of God's provision. The call to surrender is not about losing, it is about gaining. When we trust God with what we love most, we find that he blesses, protects and multiplies beyond our wildest imagination. Chosen one, will you trust God with your heart's deepest desires? True faith is not holding tightly. It is opening our hands and saying, Lord, have your way. And in that surrender, miracles are born. As Abraham prepared to sacrifice Isaac, God provided a ram in the thicket, sparing Isaac and proving his faithfulness. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. This is the name revealed to Abraham in that moment, a reminder that God sees, God knows, and God provides exactly what we need, even when the answer seems delayed. Chosen one, God's provision is not limited to our understanding. Sometimes we may walk in obedience without seeing the provision, wondering if it will ever come. But Jehovah Jireh sees ahead. He knows every need before it arises, and he has already made a way. The provision of the ram was not an accident. It was a miracle prepared by God, waiting to be revealed through Abraham's faith. Are you facing a need today? Perhaps you're in a place where the future seems uncertain, where the answers are hidden and the resources are lacking. Know this, God will provide. Just as he provided for Abraham, he will provide for you. His provision may not come in the way you expect, but it will come in the way you need. God's provision is not always immediate, but it is always perfect. When we walk in faith, trusting that God sees, we unlock the treasures of heaven. Jehovah Jireh does not abandon his chosen ones. He meets every need, opens doors where there are none, and provides resources from unexpected places. Let your faith rise, knowing that God's provision is waiting for your obedience. Faith is the power that moves mountains, the light that shines in the darkness, the strength that sustains in weakness. Abraham's journey up the mountain with Isaac was a mountain-moving faith in action. He didn't know how God would fulfill his promise, but he believed that God was able. He trusted that God would make a way, even if it meant raising Isaac from the dead. Chosen one, when you face life's hardest tests, remember that faith is not about denying the struggle. It's about overcoming it. Faith doesn't mean you won't face challenges. It means you are equipped to conquer them. God has placed a mountain-moving faith within you, a faith that can withstand the storms, that can overcome the valleys, that can reach the summit. The trials you face may seem insurmountable, but faith will see you through. 
Just as God walked with Abraham up the mountain, he walks with you through every test. He is your strength when you feel weak, your comfort when you feel lost, your guide when the way is dark. Faith that moves mountains is not found in the absence of struggle. It is forged in the fire of endurance, the willingness to believe even when all seems lost. Let your faith be unshakable, for you are not alone. The God who called you is faithful. He will see you through. The faith within you is stronger than the obstacles before you, for it is anchored in the one who cannot be moved. True worship is not found in empty words or routine actions. It is found in a heart fully surrendered to God. When Abraham lifted the knife to sacrifice Isaac, he was engaging in worship more powerful than any song or offering. Worship is not about what you give, it's about the heart with which you give it. Worship is placing God above all, even above the blessings he has given. What does true worship look like for you, chosen one? True worship is not about ceremony, it's about a heart laid bare before God. It is the willingness to place everything on the altar, our desires, our plans, our fears, our hopes, and saying, God, you are above all. Worship is costly, but it is in the place of surrender that we encounter God in the fullness of his power. Worship that costs nothing is worth nothing. When we hold nothing back from God, he holds nothing back from us. When we offer our lives as a living sacrifice, we step into the realm of divine encounter. Worship is not about losing yourself. It is about finding yourself in Him. It is about becoming who you were created to be, walking in the fullness of His love, His purpose, His calling. True worship is a life laid down, a heart that beats for Him, a soul consumed by His presence. This is the heart of worship, and when you live a life of true worship, the fire within you will spread to those around you. Chosen one, this message is not just words, it is a call. It is a call to rise, to step into the fullness of who you are called to be, to embrace radical obedience, to trust with abandon, to surrender fully, and to worship with every fiber of your being. This is the life of the chosen. It is not a life of ease, but it is a life of power, a life of purpose, a life that changes the world. You are not called to blend in. You are called to stand out. You are not called to shrink back. You are called to move forward. God has placed a fire within you, a fire that cannot be quenched, a fire that burns with purpose, with destiny, with divine power. Let this fire consume you. Let it refine you. Let it empower you. As you step into this calling, know that you are not alone. The God who called Abraham calls you. The God who provided for Abraham provides for you. The God who sustained Abraham in his hardest moments sustains you. You are chosen, set apart, and equipped for a purpose that is greater than yourself. Walk in this truth. Live in this truth. Let it ignite every part of who you are. Embrace the call, embrace the fire, and let the world see the light of God through you. This is your moment, chosen one. Rise, burn, and let the fire of God's love and purpose blaze through your life, setting hearts ablaze for His glory. As you take in this message, don't let it simply stir your heart and fade away. Let it move you to action. Share this message with others who need to hear it. There are countless souls who are struggling under the weight of their calling, who are battling in silence and wondering if their faith is worth it. Be the voice that reminds them that God sees them, that He honors their faith, and that the reward is on its way. If this message has touched your heart, take a moment to comment Amen, affirming that you stand in agreement with God's word. Let this be your declaration of faith, a bold step forward in embracing the cost and trusting God for the reward. Every Amen is not just a comment. It is a statement of belief, a proclamation that you are chosen by God and ready to walk in the fullness of your faith.
And for those who feel led, subscribe and continue this journey with us. God is speaking powerfully in this season, and you don't want to miss the words that he is releasing to strengthen, encourage, and uplift his chosen ones. When you subscribe, you are stepping into a community of believers who are committed to walking out their faith together, supporting one another through the trials, and celebrating the victories that God brings. Finally, I encourage you to share this message. Don't keep the fire to yourself. Spread it so that others may be ignited with the truth of God's word. There are many who need this encouragement, who need to be reminded that their small faith can move mountains. Together, we can light a fire in the hearts of the chosen, preparing them for the glorious future that God has promised. Let's walk this journey together, trusting in God's faithfulness every step of the way. Go forth today with the knowledge that you are chosen, you are called, and your faith, no matter how small, is more powerful than you realize. Stay connected to God, trust Him in all things, and let your faith grow into something unshakable. You are about to see the mighty hand of God move in your life in ways you never thought possible. Your mustard seed faith will grow, and nothing, absolutely nothing, will be impossible for you. Let's pray this prayer of faith together as one family. Heavenly Father, Almighty Creator, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we come before you, standing in awe of your majesty, humbled by your presence, and longing to feel your fire within us. Lord, you are the one who calls us up the mountain, who asks for our trust, and who never fails to provide. Today, we surrender ourselves to you completely. We lay down every fear, every hesitation, every burden, and open our hearts wide to your spirit. Father, let your presence fill this moment. Let it reach each person, filling every corner of their heart with the warmth and power of your love. Father, let this message touch the deepest places in our souls, May it break through every wall and bring light to every shadowed part of us. May it open our eyes to the greatness of the calling you have placed upon us, to the depth of your love and to the power of your provision. Lord, we ask that you ignite within each listener a faith that cannot be moved, a trust that cannot be shaken, and a love that cannot be quenched. Let your spirit consume us like a fire, purifying us, refining us, and setting us ablaze for you. Lord, you call us to radical faith, the kind of faith that does not look back, that does not shrink back, that rises boldly at your word. Give us the courage to say yes to you in every area of our lives. Let us be like Abraham, willing to climb any mountain, willing to lay down what we cherish most, willing to trust you fully, Lord, we don't just want a surface-level faith. We want to go deeper, to experience the fullness of your power, and to know you in ways we have never known before. Father, we lift up each chosen one who will share this message. We ask that you bless them richly, that you anoint them with your spirit, and that you empower them to carry your word far and wide. May each share, each click, each message sent ignite another heart, another soul, another life. Let this message be a spark that starts a wildfire of faith across every heart it touches. Let it spread your truth, your love, and your power until lives are transformed and souls are brought closer to you. For those who subscribe, who comment, Amen, and who stand in agreement, Father, may they encounter you in a personal, undeniable way. May you release blessings over their lives that overflow. May you open doors that no one can close. And may you pour out a measure of your spirit upon them that brings them into a deeper relationship with you. Let them see your hand at work. Let them feel your presence daily. And let them know that you are with them always. Jehovah Jireh, the God who provides, we ask that you meet every need represented here for those who are struggling, for those facing trials, for those walking through a season of uncertainty, may they experience your provision as Abraham did. Let them see the ram in the thicket, 
the answer to their prayers, the solution they need. Let them know that you see them, that you know their needs before they even ask, and that you have already prepared the way. Father, we ask that this message pierces every heart, that it awakens a desire to know you more, to surrender more fully, to trust you more completely. May this prayer be a declaration of faith, a release of your power, and a spark that ignites a lifelong passion for you. God, we are here, your chosen ones, ready to burn with purpose, ready to follow wherever you lead, ready to surrender all. Lord, make us a people of mountain-moving faith, a people who trust you without hesitation, a people who walk in the power of your Spirit. Let this be the beginning of a new chapter, a new season, where each of us walks more closely with you, sees more of your hand at work, and lives fully in the calling you have placed upon us. May every listener be blessed, empowered, and set on fire for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray, believing that you hear us, knowing that you are with us, and trusting that you are doing more than we can ask, think, or imagine. Amen. If this message has touched your heart and you'd like to support our mission of spreading God's word, there's a link pinned in the comments below. No gift is too small. Your generosity, even just a penny, can bring hope and joy to someone's life. Thank you for partnering with God in this important work.